Why do I need a high current amplifier? Well, actually, I don't, <laughs> but you might. <laughs> this question comes from Daniel in Romania. Oh, Romania, isn't that, is that the home of Dracula? Romania, maybe it's Hungary, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, Daniel writes, I own a pair of Kef LS50. Hey, so do I, and my wife, and she absolutely loves them. Uh, I try to find a suitable amp for them. I'm currently driving them with a 50 watt exposure 1010. Not sure what that is. But I read all the time that KEFs need a high current amplifier. Can you please elaborate on the need for high current amps and what it all means? Yeah. Your LS50, where do I put my glasses? All right, your LS50 could definitely benefit from closer to 100 watts, which is more current. So we have to remember that wattage is the way engineers express the combination of voltage, how high the signal goes and tries to push the driver in and out so we hear sound, and how much horsepower or energy we have available to make that voltage move the speaker. And the combination of voltage and current, or amperage, if you will, which is what you're asking about, is called watts. And the formula is really simple. Amps times volts equals watts. So if I have uh, 10 amps and 2 volts possible, then I'm going to get 20 watts. Or if I have, you know, you can do the math. It's, 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 uh, it's not hard. It's pretty simple. So. Why would we need both? Well, if you just have voltage and a very little bit of amperage, you won't have many watts. So in that case, you won't be able to move the, you won't be able to create a large enough magnetic field, which is what, of course, our speaker drivers have, right? They're, they're a coil and a magnet. We've talked a lot about coils and magnets on here, and we'll talk more about it. Uh, um, here's a, a shameless plug for the film that I, geez, God, it had been 10 years ago I produced called From Coal to Coal Train. And if you go to YouTube, on our YouTube channel, it's about an hour long, or you can write us. Uh, I, I just uh, email paul at psaudio.com or a DVD or whatever, call us 800 PS Audio and say, hey, I want Paul's free DVD video. I think we probably have, our warehouse manager Tim showed us, I think probably have 75, 80 DVDs left. They're, they're free, we're happy to send them to you. They're, it's, hey, it's in five channels around sound. Um, I, it's kind of a cool video. <coughs> Excuse me, I, <coughs> I put it together years ago and it explains everything you'd want to know about, <coughs> I got the morning coughs here, everything you want to know about coils and magnets and how all this works. And I would really recommend it. Or you can just watch it on YouTube from Coal to Coal Train. Anyway, how do we get off on that? Oh yeah, because we need power to make sure that the voltage is going to work into an impedance. And I don't want to get overly complicated. So if we have a little bit of voltage and a little bit of current, what could we do with that? Well, if you put it into a speaker, you're going to get just a little bit of movement. Now, if you put that into a headphone, you're going to get a little bit of movement. But that little bit of movement in a headphone is really loud when it's an inch away from your ear, right? <coughs> so. <clears throat> Headphones don't need as much power because they're higher impedance and they don't have to move as far. But a speaker has an impedance of about 4 ohms, 8 ohms. I think your kefs are 4 ohms. And in order to move that driver a good amount of distance, you need a decent number of watts, depending on how loud you're playing it. So when they say you need a high current amplifier, much depends on the impedance of the speaker, how loud you want to play it, and its sensitivity. 
sensitivity is for one watt in, how many dB of sound am I going to get out? And if it's 90 dB, that's fairly efficient. I, I don't know, I don't remember, the LS50s are probably 87, 88, not particularly efficient. So you need watts, you need current. At home, we drive our LS50s with Sprout. Now Sprout has, into four ohms, has 100 watts per channel. So our Sprout integrated is a great amp for that purpose because it's got enough power to drive the LS50s. It's got, well, it's twice as much as what you're driving it with. So hope that helps, and um, we'll talk to you tomorrow.